Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this tutorial, we'll be creating some accent explosions kind of like this. And it's really cool for just, you know, motion graphics because you can just use them to uh, basically make your uh, animations pop and you just add some flavor to your, you know, to your work. And uh, here it is in a little bit, in a little bit more slow motion. Um, so basically we'll be creating these awesome shapes really quickly in After Effects. So let's go over here and I'm gonna go ahead here into my uh, new uh, composition. I already have a background in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the ellipse tool at the top and we're gonna basically uh, make a new solid and we're gonna make sure it's set to uh, 1080 by 1080. And I'm just gonna set it to white for now. And we'll call this, you know, maybe accent, you know, one. And we'll click OK. And now we have this square here. And what we'll do is we'll just double click the ellipse tool here. And now we have a nice, you know, perfect, perfect uh, mask right here. Let me go ahead and maybe scale this down by a little bit by hitting S on my keyboard to bring up the scale. And then let's go into the uh, mask uh, properties over here. And let's duplicate mask one by going to edit, duplicate. And then let's go ahead and set from versus add, set it to subtract. And then let's go ahead and open up those properties. So let's go ahead and uh, decrease the uh, max expansion. So I'll go into the negative values. And I'll bring in our little semicircle here, or should I say, uh, you know, not a, it's basically just a circle. So then we'll go to the max expansion over here. And as you can see, if we lower that, uh, we can kind of start from nothing. So we'll go ahead and set this to probably like negative 87 you know, basically about the same uh, as our mask two. And what we'll do is we'll uh, basically cl click a keyframe for mask expansion and we'll move forward in time to maybe, uh, you know, eight frames. And we'll go ahead and expand this uh, circle out like this. So now we have a cool animation. And then what we'll do is we'll click the stopwatch for the mask two mask expansion. And we'll move forward in time and Let's go ahead and like we'll close this up by uh, bringing the pixels back to like zero. And now what we can do is maybe we'll stretch this keyframe out by a frame. And then what we'll do is we'll select uh, the first two keyframes here and we'll hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy as. And we'll make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe as well. And we'll leave the first keyframe of our mask two here, just a linear keyframe. So I'll just go right into it. So. Basically now we have this animating, you know, circle that looks pretty cool. It's basically, you know, comes in from the center. So it's basically like an explosion. And uh, what we can do now is maybe we can, you know, uh, close this up and maybe what we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer, offset it by a little bit. Maybe uh, we'll go ahead and scale it down and maybe we'll move it over here. Maybe offset it a little bit more, maybe do a little bit more scale, you know, and then, you know, once again, we'll duplicate it again and we'll move it over here you know, scale that down again and we'll offset it. So now we kind of have these explosions and maybe we'll duplicate it one more time and we'll offset it and then we'll like scale it down and we'll just bring it over here to the center or something like that. And if we want, we can go back into the uh, mask expansion for our properties here and we can, uh, you know, increase the size of our, uh, of our mask. So we can go to the negative values for our mask to max expansion and they'll seem thicker and you know, you can just play with the, you know, the settings to create some variations. So something to keep in mind. So basically now we have our four circles uh, just coming on and exploding. So now let's go ahead and create a more interesting object. Uh, so what we'll do is go back to the ellipse tool. Sorry, excuse me. Let's go to the rectangle tool. Okay. And let's come in here and let's just draw out a thin like rectangle, very thin, you know, it doesn't have to be thick. So sort of like that, and that should be okay for now. So let's go ahead and open up our rectangle one properties underneath our new shape layer. Let's go to the rectangle path one, and uh, let's maybe increase the roundness, you know, so as you can see it's a little bit more round. And we have some options here, uh, and <clears throat> maybe what we can do is start uh, messing with the size a little bit. So what we'll do is maybe we'll go to the beginning here, you know, and add a keyframe, and maybe we'll move this forward, this keyframe forward to like 12 frames or so, and we'll set these uh, values to zero. So now, that'll just kind of come on like that, and then we'll also move forward in time to like one second and set that to zero. Now let's go back to our middle keyframe and do a little bit of customize, you know, customization. And maybe what we can do is, you know, unlink, break the link here, and we can like mess with the, I guess the Y pixels here. 
and we can make this longer if we want and you know we can make it thinner you know something to mess with but it's pretty cool so now this will kind of just come on just like that and let me go ahead and like solo this in the background okay and uh let's, what we can do now is go to the add button here and let's go ahead and add the repeater okay and let's open that up and let me zoom out here so we can add, you know increase the number of copies you know do whatever we want to do uh, but what I want to do now is go ahead and open up the transform properties for repeater one and I'm going to go ahead and well set the position to zero and then alt click the rotation and I'm going to come in here and type in 360 forward slash or the divided symbol and then we're going to grab the uh, pick whip and we're going to set it to the copies here so pick whip to copies and make sure it's 360 divided by the pick whip so now we kind of have this going on for us. Right, move forward. There we go. And it uh, looks pretty cool actually, but that's not what we're doing. You know, what we need to do is go back to our rectangle path one here, and we need to increase the Y position. And that will kind of move, you know, our lines away from each other. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And then let's go to the last keyframe here for our size and click the stopwatch for position. And then move to the front here, to the first keyframe, and set the position Y back to zero. So now it'll kind of like animate out, but the only thing is it kind of comes in as like a little spiral here. And if you don't want to have that, what we can do is go into the transform options for rectangle one and, you know, increase the rotation. And I think I'd used uh, 60 degrees or maybe 50 degrees works just fine. And if we take a look at this, it kind of looks like it comes on from straight on and then it, you know, uh, goes away from the middle. So. It looks really good. I like it. And of course, you can mess with the number of copies. You can really can't really mess with the off, offset. But, uh, you know, we want to play around with the number of copies. And then, you know, this looks pretty good. So go ahead and maybe unsolo this. And we'll see what we have here. So this comes on just like that. It looks pretty good. If we want, we can just uh, scale this up if we want it to be a little bit bigger. And then, you know, once again, we can come in here, duplicate this layer, you know, and, you know, offset it by a little bit, scale it down and you know, move it to a place where we want to have it. So it's a lot of cool options you know, to mess around with and you know, have some fun and create some you know, interesting uh, elements. So if you wanna change the color of these layers, what you can do is for the, like, the solid uh, colors, you can go up to uh, layer solid settings and then you can change the color you know, from there. Uh, or you can do, uh, what I like to do is go to uh, you know, like effect generate fill and basically you can just set your color to whatever you want. So, you know, it's things to think about, but I'm not gonna go ahead and set the color for this tutorial since we just did the animation. You guys can go ahead and mess with the color. So after a quick render, this is what we have and it looks really awesome. I hope you guys learned a few things from this video and if this video has been helpful, please drop a like, it helps me out tremendously. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And also if you have any questions, you can hit me up on my social media networks or drop a comment down below. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.